if she wanted her life to be placed in a musical, no, yung lakad niyang life story. And then sabi ni uh, Imelda is that, but I'm not a prostitute. Doon ako nagimbal na nagkaroon siya ng relationship kay uh, Ninoy. I don't know kung mutual understanding pa yun. Ang sabi nga ni Ninoy Aquino, I had to leave you, Imelda, because you were too tall for me. Pero hindi pinayagan ni Ms. Lea Salonga. Siyempre, talaga namang may boundaries. Pero this time around, eh, si Vina Morales ang aking uh, napanood. I had to catch this. This is a very important milestone sa mga Filipinos, lalo na sa mga artists. Dahil first time na number one all Filipino cast, be honest, we don't know until when. After few months, few weeks, eh, bigla na lang mawawala. I, I'm fearing for this musical, to be real honest. Kumbaga nagtutulong-tulong ang Filipino community, mga artists, uh, to come up with the show, dollars, spending dollars, and malaki ang gastos. Diyan din nagsimula si Miss Leia Salonga ng Miss Saigon niya. And then, very immersive pa yung show, no? Aside from techno music, at uh, uh, kung saan ine-encourage pa nila na ang mga tao ay sumayaw. Kumbaga, Emil Diffic, si Imelda Marcos. Kumbaga, ito yung parang faces, let's just say, ng 80s or let's just say ng 90s uh, giraffe and then naging embassy weird na para bang may sayawan and yet it's about a, the tragic tale ng mga Filipinos that's how it was presented yun nga sabi ni Miss uh, Lea Solonga sa kanyang interview it's a Trojan horse kaya pala masyadong mabait at marupok si Melda for uh, Ninoy na number one na opposition nung asawa niya. Ang problema with this musical, hindi pinakita si Cory Such that, Filipinos are really piritero. Hindi ko lang nakita ng parang pwedeng kagaya ng mga ala Donna Summer, ala Gloria Gaynor na music. I wish na bigyan na lang ng spotlight si Cory Aquino. May enhance yung kwento, may enhance yung characterization ng dalawang ito. Hindi lang duet pala, quartet pala to. More gratifying so audience. Kung makita itong dalawang characters na nagbabakbakan, I tell you, mas grabe, mas kiti ba ito? Parang mas gusto to sa, ay, sa papa ay sa... Miss Chicha is waking up! ABS-CBN somehow has maintained that a stature Tinanong ko sa kanya, may multo ba rito? We'll find out how uh, Here Lies Love fair in Sony's and uh, that would be for next year. Uh, let's find out if it's gonna win Best Musical against all of these uh, great Broadway shows. All right, so I'm already here in the theater, and the theater is bathed in pink. Hey, mga kuya ko, this is Kuya Mike, ang kuya nyo sa Amerika, and this is for the Kuya Koy list. All right, so welcome back uh, sa mga Kuya Koy uh, here in Michigan. Dahil last week and uh, last vlog, eh, nandun tayo sa New York City dahil we tried to catch, or we did actually, uh, catch yung musical sa Broadway, no? Uh, ito yung Here Lies Love, which is uh, buhay ni Melda nung dalaga pa siya until na pag asawa siya kay Ferdinand Marcos. And before that, first things first, si Melda Marcos was asked some time ago, I think probably in the 80s, uh, yeah, probably in the 80s when yung kasagsagan yun ng Evita ng Don't Cry For Me Argentina which is a musical at ginawa na nga ang pelikula ni Madonna tinanong si uh, ng isang reporter si sa isang interview si uh, Imelda if she wanted her life to be placed in a musical no? yung lakad niyang life story and then sabi ni uh, Imelda is that but I'm not a prostitute yun ang sagot niya hindi raw siya you know nagbebenta ng sarili niya na gaya ni Evita Peron uh, yun ang sinasabi kasi si Evita again also uh, a first lady ni Juan Peron ng Argentina and sinabi she really used her body to get 
her waist, whims, at yung kapicho niya with several men. Yun ang kanyang life story ni Vita. So, ganun ang pagkasagot ni Imelda, not knowing na eventually talagang magkakaroon ng musical tungkol sa buhay ni Imelda o tungkol sa buhay niya. Right now, I'd like to think, alam niya naman ni Imelda na merong uh, life story <laughs> na doon na sa Broadway. Pangalawa, doon ako na gimbal na nagkaroon siya ng relationship kay uh, Ninoy. I don't know kung totoo ang relationship. Da, napaka-vague. Although sinasabi talaga boyfriend-girlfriend doon sa musical, pero parang I'd like to think it's more of dating, more of like, you know, nililigawan. Seriously doubt na talagang nag-on sila. I don't know kung mutual understanding pa yun uh, between uh, Imelda and uh, Ninoy. I'd like to think nag-date, nagkakilala, pinipair up, boyfriend, girlfriend, baka hindi pa. I don't think umabot doon. So, pero it seems that in doon sa musical uh, na Here Lies Love na talagang nagkaroon sila ng relations. Ang sabi nga ni Ninoy Aquino, actually, parang kukonti lang kami natawa doon. Na, pero nakuha ko na parang sinabi niya, I had to leave you, Imelda, because you were too tall for me. But any case, if you recall ito yung incident ni Lea Solonga, doon sa dressing room na kung saan pinuntahan siya ng mga admirers niya, no? and trying to get, a, I guess, a selfie and then uh, an autograph from her, pero hindi pinayagan ni Miss Lea Solonga. Siyempre, talaga namang may boundaries. Pero this time around, eh, nung pinanood ko siya, wala doon si Lea Solonga. She was in London dahil may ginagawa rin siyang ibang project ng musical din. Pero this time around, eh, si Vina Morales ang aking uh, napanood. And I think it's, it's going to be until this October lang. Dahil another actress will join the cast and uh, be featured. Again, I had to catch this. This is a very important milestone sa mga Filipinos, lalo na sa mga artists. Dahil first time na number one all filipino cast in a musical and this is big time this is in broadway apparently ito ay gawa nila david Byrne at ni fatboy slim so may pagka disco at yun nga ang ginawa nila kakaiba itong project nila na ito number one dahil filipino Pangalawa, it was really more of techno and disco music. Hindi yung mga parang sound of music or evita, kanta. Big time ito. So I have to catch it. Then, to be honest, we don't know until when uh, itong musical na to. Marami, to be, uh, you know, just to be realistic about it. Marami ang nag-try, pero after few months, few weeks, eh, bigla na lang mawawala. Not enough people are watching uh, many of these shows uh, un unless classic and kagaya ng Hamilton na years or even Cats na how many years then or um, Le Miserable yeah, napanood ko pa yung Le Miserable ngayon nga bumalik na yung Chicago so many of these uh, productions eh, hindi tumatagal I, I'm fearing for this musical to be real honest so that's why uh, in my own little way few dollars I contributed uh, para sa musical na to in fact na ako doon ako sa dulo <laughs> ng, ng um, doon sa rafters doon na sa pinakataas which is fine with me hey at least nakapunta ako doon at least na witness ko ito na very important na pangyayari sa mga artists uh, ang producers nito again is like gaya nila Lea Solonga Apple the App and uh, even H.E.R. or si Her kumbaga nagtutulong-tulong ang Filipino community mga artists uh, to come up with the show dollars, spending dollars and this is to be really honest malaki ang gastos sa musical na ito dahil again kakaiba ang layout ang design ng stage tinanggal nila yung mga seats kumbaga eh, mas less siguro makakaupo this time Although ito yung iconic Broadway theater dyan sa Times Square, dyan din nagsimula si Miss Lea Salonga ng Miss Saigon niya. And then very immersive pa yung show, no? aside from techno music at uh, kung saan ine-encourage pa nila na ang mga tao ay sumayaw dahil nga techno, uh, danceable music 
ang linagay ni um, David Byrne at ni Fatboy Slim, yung stage mismo ay umiikot, nagro-rotate. So kung ikaw mismo ay kasama dun sa uh, area, sa baba, na actually walang upuan and you'd be able to like stand up for one and a half hours. Actually, maikli yun, no? one and a half hours. Pero kung nakatayo ka naman, <laughs> matagal din yun. Maganda doon dahil talagang you participate actively doon sa ginagawa o pinapagawa sa'yo ng musical na ito. May mga nagko-coach actually kung anong gagawin. Nagpa-participate. Kasi buhay ito ni Imelda at ni Ferdinand Marcos na kung saan pinakita yung campaign period, 1986, yung People Power, yung burial ni Ninoy Aquino. Again, it was techno, music, And it's kind of weird, kind of jarring Dahil tayo, ako mismo uh, Was a witness Doon sa four days na yun Ng 1986 uh, Power Revolution But more than that Batang 70 ako, batang 80 Pero alam ko talaga yung, yung history uh, Pangyayari It was really tragic There's corruption Kumbaga Emil Diffic Si Imelda Marcos Mga hidden wealth ang nangyari at napatunayan na yan so that's already a given pero again it's jarring na dahil the whole musical was sayawan yun ang pinaka marketing uh, strategy ng musical na ito this is what they're showing this is going to be a party just like in Studio 54 at itong Studio 54 ay frequent dati ni Imelda Marcos na every time probably she was in New York na kung saan ang Studio 54 na ito kumbaga ito yung parang faces let's just say ng 80s or let's just say ng 90s uh, giraffe and then naging embassy sayawan of course kasama na dun yung ang daming pupunta ng mga celebrities, mga artista. Ito yung, kumbaga, hotspot ng uh, era na ito, which is 70s. Or, or yung glamour at yung pagiging fantastic ni Imelda in terms of yung kanyang na binibili niya, most likely in New York, particularly in Bloomingdale's. So it was kind of like weird na para bang may sayawan and yet it's about at the tragic tale ng mga Filipinos na pinahirapan, martial law, corruption, killings, deaths, even yung Manila Film Center, doon pinakita. So that's how it was presented. Yun nga sabi ni Ms. Uh, Lea Solonga sa kanyang interview, it's a Trojan horse na at tingin mo, at tingin ng mga tao, Wow, ang ganda, fantastic itong musical na ito Dahil sayawan, even until now Magkakaroon ng Halloween party uh, After ng musical um, May mga DJs even after ng musical That is a come on uh, for this musical Ang narinig ko actually na Yung sa mga audience they, you know, Sa mga kwento-kwento nila They did not know exactly what happened At yung story na ito Akala sayawan-sayawan lang Pero actually Underneath the whole thing is yung dumi, yung pagkasira ng personalidad ni Imelda. At the same time, pinakita rin yung, uh, syempre, naging senador si Ninoy, and then uh, martial law, and nagkasakit si Ninoy. Totoo naman na tinulungan ni uh, Imelda si Ninoy, kaya pala masyadong mabait at marupok. Si Melda for uh, Ninoy Dahil at one point eh, Very close silang dalawa And she permitted Na makaalis si Ninoy Na number one Na opposition Nung asawa niya na si Marcos And in fact sinasabi He was uh, Supposedly uh, to be president Kaya parang natakot Si Marcos Regarding that. At kung ano-ano mga ginagawa, no? communist, mga ganyan-ganyan. Uh, pumunta si Ninoy sa Boston. Kasama, of course, sila Chris Aquino. Uh, of course, si Cory Aquino. Uh, at saka yung mga iba pang mga anak. No? Sila Viel, sila Balsi, si Pinky. Ang problema with this musical is aside from yung music, eh, kind of like jarring, hindi pinakita si Cory. And 
really, two things ang pwedeng gawin. Okay, I'm gonna accept na it's going to be a disco-driven na musical ito. But I wish, I wish there were more melodious na music such that Filipinos are really biritero, biritera. And sana ma-incorporate talaga yung mga music na one or two music, makadagdag man lang, talagang may melody na maayos na kahit disco pa siya, eh pwedeng makanta ng birit at maging mas para matutuwaan not only by Filipinos ha, pero yung general audience na nanunood nito na parabang wow ang problema it was just very techno and hindi ko lang nakitaan ng parang pwedeng kagaya ng mga ala Donna Summer ala Gloria Gaynor na music I wish ganun ka melodious sabi ko nga it's already a given palalampasin na natin na talagang ganun nga sayawan musical party like pero you could add some more na wherein magagamit talaga yung vocal pipes ng mga Filipinos the best singers or among the best ang Filipinos as singers dun pa lang just in case nag-incorporate ng na Filipinos would be able to identify and at the same time really like enjoy even singing ha huh? even sa karaoke na lang just like what don't cry for me Argentina di ba it became iconic i don't know if there's any song here na pwedeng kasing iconic ng don't cry for me Argentina ng Evita I wish we had something like that. Secondly, there was this uh, character, mom ni Nino Aquino, na kung saan si Leo Solonga and Vina Morales, eh, actually parang featured actress sila dito. Kasi isang kanta lang yun, of Aurora Aquino. Donya Aurora Aquino. Uh, right after ng assassination. It was moving. Actually, one of the better songs sa akin. To me, I wish nabigyan na lang ng spotlight si Cory Aquino. Nandoon, pinakita si Cory Aquino, pero wala eh. Hindi man lang uh, nilabas yung kwento regarding uh, the wife of Ninoy Aquino. And just in case na flesh out yun, uh, itong wife ni, na si Cory, na napakaganda pa naman ng character development at ng kwento ni Cory, and magiging really a comparison kay, kay Imelda or Imelda will be compared to Cory may enhance yung kwento may enhance yung characterization ng dalawang ito pwedeng magkaduet itong dalawang to na character ni Imelda character ni, ni Cory character ni Ferdinand Marcos hindi lang duet pala quartet pala to and character ni Nino Aquino. Apat yan. Nagsasalubungan ng music na maganda, let's just say. Pero hindi I don't know why uh, David Byrne and Fatboy Slim decided not to incorporate yung character na very strong pa naman in terms of the narrative of the Marcoses, uh, particularly during the 80s or even the 70s. Mapapakita mo yan, no? dalawang babae na magkaibang magkaiba and it is more satisfying sa audience more gratifying sa audience kung makita itong dalawang characters na nagbabakbakan and there's the twist na matay si Ninoy na wala sila Imelda at saka si uh, Ferdinand umalis yung last scene na si Imelda Actually, more of Imelda, no? Na, <laughs> nakaganun siya. E, while yung uh, ilaw na kung saan parang pinapakita na para bang yung uh, helicopter blades ay umiikot. Man, if that was placed there and then emerging, e, itong si Cory Aquino bilang presidente na. You can be anti-Marcos, you can be pro-Marcos. But that is the story. Kahit ayaw mo kay Cory, e, yun ang nangyari. Nag-emerge na bilang presidente si Cory Aquino. In fact, to me, yung role ni Aurora, I have so much respect for Aurora Aquino. It did not do much dun sa kwento ng People Power Revolution. Cory's role was more significant. Probably, you know, there's going to be more empathy for such. She was encouraged to be president and she took that responsibility.
that could have been more compelling, that could have been stronger. And to be real honest, if they'd be able to incorporate those changes, maihabul man lang at mailagay yun. The twist, I tell you, mas grabe, mas kitiba ito. This is coming from good place because I believe in the retelling of this story. Ito po si Kuya Mike of the Kuya Koy List. It's a brand's branding and shopping channel for the global Filipino. Please subscribe po sa ating channel. Click on that notification bell. Check on my website, thekuyakoylist.com. And again, ito po si Kuya Mike, ang malamang nakaisa-isa at kauna-unang affiliate marketer na Filipino-American for online stores here in the United States. At ang Kuya Nus America, this is for the Kuya Koy List.